Have you ever wondered what new characters we're gonna see in episode 2 of the Amazing Digital Circus? Or episode 1 if you don't count the pilot episode as the first episode? Like, anyways, today we're gonna be talking about exactly that and much more. So make sure to stay tuned until the very end. Alright, let's get into it. So the pilot episode of the Amazing Digital Circus got more than 120 million views. So it's safe to assume that Gooseworks is gonna be making a whole season of the show. And yes, Gooseworks is the actual person behind the Amazing Digital Circus. Well, Glitch Studios is basically just a platform that these independent indie creators can post their cartoons. So like the Amazing Digital Circus is basically like an indie cartoon made by indie developers and Glitch has a bunch of those from different type of creators. And this one was made by Gooseworks. And since we can be almost 100% certain that the season is gonna come out, we might as well spectate on what kind of characters we're gonna see in the new season. And I have a theory about the characters that we already know, which helps us see the characters what, that we don't know that will probably be introduced in the next episodes. So let's figure out who the new characters are gonna be together. Here it goes. All right, hold on just for one second. Before we go anywhere else, I just wanna ask you one thing. And if you watch my other videos, you probably know what I'm gonna ask you about. Subscribe to the channel. That's right. Just press that subscribe button and it means the world to me and there's literally almost 10,000 of us already. I can't wait to hit that goal or maybe there is already by the time you're watching this. Who knows? But yeah, I'm really excited and we cannot stop now. We have to keep going. We have to get to, I don't know, 100,000 right now. Yeah, 100,000 is the next goal. Let's do it. Or fine, let's start with 50k. Let's start with 50k and after that we can get to 100,000. Sure, whatever. But for that, you gotta press the subscribe button. So make sure to do that. All right, I'm not gonna take any more of your time let's get back into the video. So everybody who gets obstructed gets replaced by a new character. Think about it. Who was the last person to obstruct? It was Kofmo, right? And Kofmo is a clown. And Kofmo obstructed before Pomni came into the picture. So I believe that every time that somebody obstructs, somebody else comes in. So basically like Kofmo is a clown and Pomni is a clown and she came in and replaced the, the Kofmo clown. So there's always a clown in the picture. And then there's also Queenie, which also obstructed because it's like crossed out. So that means that Kinger replaced Queenie maybe? Like I get it they could have been together like a lot of people think that they were like together as his wife or something like that you know but with this theory it kind of makes sense is that Queenie was there before Kinger. So Kinger was the replacement for Queenie. I know it's a little bit of a stretch but it does make sense like they're similar right? The same thing with Kofmo and Pomni. And there's also a yellow dog that we see like right here it's like an animal. There's not much on it. Even on the fandom wiki, all it says is a yellow dog. Literally, that's all the information we have about this dog. But honestly, I think this was the predecessor of Jax. So Jax the bunny is kind of an animal, right? So this is an animal as well. And that's what it was. And then right after that, we see also this weird looking worm thingy. And it's basically like a worm on a string type of toy like this one right here. Look, it literally looks super similar to that. So yeah, this is what the worm on a string looks like. It's something like this like whatever that is that yeah i had one of those as a kid and yeah they're they're pretty fun to play with but anyways so it's basically a toy right and since it's a toy i think this was the thing that the predecessor of ragatha because she's a toy as well and so on so that kind of makes sense right so if people are being replaced when they get obstructed that means that if somebody obstructs for example kinger right there's gonna be a new chest piece so the new characters that we're gonna see, they're gonna be the replacements for the already existing characters, which there's always gonna be only six of. And those six are, are you ready? It's a clown, an animal, an abstract creature, a toy, a chess piece, and Gangle. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how to describe Gangle. He's literally just uh, like ribbons with a freaking face. So I don't know, I don't know. He doesn't really fit into that picture anywhere. So I think a Gangle wasn't replaced before because from the replaced creatures that we saw, basically all the obstructed creatures, nothing really looks like Gangle, honestly. Like everybody is just either a clown or some kind of like puppet, toy or whatever, except for maybe the 
pink fluffy cyclops guy, which kind of looks like bubblegum, honestly, but I don't know. He could be, I guess. I don't know how, but I don't know. Just Gingo doesn't, doesn't really fit into the picture unless he never obstructed like his predator. He is the very first one there with Kane, you know? Also, Gingo could be two different people because he has like masks, you know? And when he takes off a mask, it's a completely different person. Maybe, or maybe Gingo is literally just super special. Like he's hiding something, right? Like he doesn't fit into this piece, but maybe he's like one of the main ones as well. He's like the hidden villain. That would be pretty crazy because he's a very unassuming character. He's just like on the side, always like crying in the in the corner or something, you know? So yeah, I think if we are going to be introduced to new characters, they're going to be just replacements for the ones we already have. So I honestly don't think that anybody else can join. It's just like a six player game kind of thing, you know? And when somebody checks out, aka obstructs, a new person gets put in. Like Pomni was put in for Kafma. And it's pretty interesting because the, the amount of clowns that went crazy is pretty crazy. But yeah, anyways, talking about new characters, let's not forget the name of the show. The Amazing Digital Circus. Exactly, it's a freaking circus. So that's why there's a whole bunch of clowns, animals, Kane. I guess, yeah, Kane fits in the picture because he's the guy with the top hat. He's like the magician, you know, of the show. So we have a magician as well. We don't have any performers like heavyweight lifter thingies, you know, the people, there's usually people in circus that like can lift like cars and stuff like that so maybe that's another character we might see because it's a circus right can you imagine they add like some buff guy like a freaking i don't know lifting cars or weights or something like that i feel like that's what it's missing and maybe like an animal handler or something like that or like a bear juggling balls or something like that i don't know yeah i feel like they could add those because it's literally a circus so yeah so far there's like two different options of, of what it could be they could be replacing old characters with new ones every time they obstruct or they could just add somebody from a circus type of theme thing you know so i think there could be new characters or maybe they're just gonna leave like pomni as the only new character that we're gonna see and nobody else is gonna join but that would kind of be boring honestly because i feel like new characters are always like way more fun you know so yeah it's all up to gooseworks like always but we might as well spectate right because we can look at what she does what like everybody else does and figure it out ourselves and on a completely unrelated note i also found this picture of how the characters would look like in real life so we know that they are stuck in a video game and they don't look like they did when they were alive right or like if they're still alive in the real world which we don't really know if it's true or not but anyways so i found this picture of of how these characters look like in their human form. And can you guess which one is which? Yeah, that this this looks pretty interesting, right? So, so I believe that this one is kind of obvious, right? This is the tallest, has a bunny in the back. Yeah, that's Jax, look at it. Like, uh, I'm not sure why it's a female, but wait, is Jax a female? Jax is a male, but for some reason this is a female. I don't know, but anyways, but that this is how Jax would look like, kind of, right? Makes sense, a bunny, yeah, whatever, <laughs> and tall. And right by Jax, this would probably be Ragatha, right? Because like Raggy, I don't know, Dolly, like uh, with the red hair and a banana, I guess. I don't know why this, she has a banana, but I believe this is Ragatha because that's literally the only one that fits it. And then that one is probably Gangle, right? Or is that Gangle? I don't know, either one is Gangle, like, it, it could literally be either one of them. So, one of them is Gangle, and the other one is Zumble. Or, may maybe this is Zumble. Wait, no, I think this is actually Zumble. This, okay, this is really confusing, I don't know, okay, that's Gangle. That is definitely Pomni, like, I can tell. Bla the, the colors and all that stuff, and she's, like, smart, I guess, whatever. So, that's Gangle, that's Pomni, that's Jax, that is... I wanna say that's Zumble. Yeah, that's probably Zumble for sure. And this one is... I don't know, that one's Kinger. So who is this guy? Is that... Who, who's left? That's Kofmo! Okay, okay, okay. That's probably Kofmo. That makes more sense. All right, so I didn't think of Kofmo. So that's Kofmo. Okay, okay, let's start over. I'm so confused. So this is this is Kofmo. That's Zubel. That's Jax. That's Pomni. Uh, that's Gangle. That's Kinger. And that is Ragatha. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I completely forgot about Kofmo. So this guy is, I guess, Kofmo. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And also watch all of my other videos. They are also very interesting. And I have a bunch of other theories and interesting facts and Easter eggs about games and movies and literally anything that is popular. So yeah, that's it. My name is Oshi and peace out. Bye.